Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you I have something a little bit different, um, something a little out of the ordinary. I've got a kit to build, but uh, the thing is, um, I had a, a um, Amazon seller contact me um, through my YouTube uh, channel and ask if I'd be interested in reviewing a kit, a radio kit. And I looked at it and I thought, well, you know, that's something that I probably would buy. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. So this is the first time that I've ever had anyone send me something for review. All the other videos that I have done have always been radios that I have um, purchased. Um, this radio was uh, sent to me uh, free um, by the uh, uh, seller and the company on uh, Amazon is uh, uh, Vogur Time. V O G U R. T-I-M-E. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hopefully I am. I couldn't find any explanation of pronunciation, so I, I don't know if I have it right, but uh, I'll have a link in the description on the uh, Amazon uh, sellers page where you can get one of these. So basically what this is, is it's an AM, FM um, radio kit. So let's see what we get in the package. Okay, we got our baggie of parts. Get it open here. You have to excuse the uh, noises in the background. I'm in the basement here and next to the furnace and other things going on, so hopefully it's not too distracting. All right, well, let's see. Got us a nice uh, speaker, and they have this, uh, oh, it looks like a, a nice little tray of parts. Everything's um, separated nicely. Um, I'm guessing this must be the, uh, the FM antenna, I'm guessing. And then it looks like we have uh, uh, the dials, a little switch and some hardware and perhaps a little battery holder and some screws so we got that we have the um, circuit board itself and i noticed that they've um, already uh, soldered on one of the ic's uh, it looks like it was a surface mount um, ic i think that's the radio receiver chip that since it was surface mount i guess they decided to um, solder that on there so that's uh, that's good I guess if you're not familiar with surface mount you don't have to worry about doing any surface mount soldering and uh, here's the uh, I guess would be the top side and they've got everything nicely uh, nicely uh, silk screened on the board a placement of uh, of parts and let's see we have instructions Okay, there we go. Thank you for your purchase. Mm. Oh, here we go. In order to protect trees, we would like to send you a detailed PDF version of the manual that will be made. We'll make it 100% effort through Amazon. Please contact us via, and they have an e email um, address um, if you need it. So they give you this basic um, sheet, which is it's a little bit small print wise but it does have the build material a schematic and um, they have the parts numbered on the build material and then they have a little um, picture or photo of what they look like so if you're doing you know part you know 20 you can go down and find part uh, 20 and see what that looks like okay they've got some polarity identification with capacitors and resistor color code and how to identify the uh, variable resistor values. So it's all here, and then here they have um, um, some photos of you putting in parts and doing the assembly, it looks like. So 
it looks like it's fairly complete. I did go ahead and get the um, uh, other uh, more detailed one, I guess, that they will email you if you ask. And it's it's pretty decent. It's a, it's a little nicer because it's the print's bigger. You can print it out, or you can you know look at it on a tablet or a monitor if you wanted to. Um, first page just has a, a little um, introduction to what, uh, what radio is, how how radio works. It's pretty basic um, explanation. We got a definition of sound wave, radio wave, and carrier wave. Um, it tells you about uh, broadcast radio and how that's uh, carried, a carried out in a brief explanation there. And then at the bottom it says, uh, these are basic knowledge just for throwing out a brick to attach a jade. As you get into more explore, you'll know more other great things. Okay, just start to solder our Vogard time AM FM radio kit soon. Please check the instructions at below. So you can see that um, all the information is here. Um, you just might have to read it a couple of times to uh, to get the gist of it. But you know, you, you get the gist of what they're saying. Um, here they have the uh, the schematic of the radio, which is nice. Not much to it. It's uh, basically a um, radio on a chip the SI 4825-A10 is the radio chip then they have a audio IC as well the uh, TA7368PG and the rest is just a few resistors and capacitors a crystal a switch your ferried rod antenna and a variable resistor and that is about it not much to it and here they have the bill material like on the other uh, short version instructions a little bit bigger of course and then it says um, you know check out uh, the bill material make sure you get all the parts and things like that um, it says uh, to prepare for welding check the list of products in figure 2-1 and 2-2 with the components you got to see if they are if there are any missing parts please note that the smaller IC the SI4825 has been welded onto the solder onto the circuit board before leaving the factory for your convenience if you have any questions please contact us and they have an email address there so it's uh, they're telling you exactly what you need to know and if you have any further questions they have they offer the email address so that's nice that you can get um, help if you have um, a question with their product here they have a resistor color code how to identify the variable resistor how to identify cap values and then we get into the soldering of the kit so this is where we start putting our parts in. It looks like they're going to have us soldering some resistors first and then some capacitors and go on from there. So I won't bore you with uh, watching me solder every one of these. So what I'll do, I'll put some parts in and I'll, I'll come back and talk about if there are any issues or problems and uh, continue through the kit build. Okay, the only other another thing that I, I found here was the part here where it's talking about um, putting in these uh, variable resistors and soldering those. It, it does say um, in the instructions to um, put these two on here, but I think they could probably use a little bit more wording or detail about telling you that the these two variable resistors are not the same obviously um, one of them has the on off switch on it and if you look right there you can see the little on off switch the little spring uh, piece of wire there that makes contact and breaks contact and the tuning one here does not have that and they do have a photo of it but I think maybe they could add some wording to um, make you aware that they are not the same and to look out for that make sure you have them oriented the right way they have a nice photo that does 
clarify that, but if you're not paying attention, you could inadvertently put them in the wrong place. Whereas if they made a more of a point of, of look at this, this is different, um, it might keep people from making a mistake like that. I, I got them on correctly, but I'm just saying that, that sometimes, uh, you know, when you're putting something together, you might not note that unless it's, you know, pointed out to you. Um, the other thing was it said when you got to the point where you were going to put the um, battery holder on here, it has you put these um, two uh, spacers on, and then it says to put this on, screw it in there, and then solder the wires onto the board here, positive going to the red, negative going to the black black negative positive red which is fine but I found it much easier to solder those wires on there first and then screw mount the battery holder on on the board I found that to be easier it also makes mention in there when you're putting the speaker on there that it says when you put the speaker wires on there's a spot on the board that's positive and negative and it says it doesn't matter which one you put it on because it's only a single speaker. Well, I don't think that's uh, correct. I think you should put the positive of the speaker to the positive output of the audio amp and negative to negative. And that's what I've done. Um, but uh, yeah, just a small little little uh, things in there. Although uh, the, the photos are, are very helpful. Um, uh, you just look at the photos and go through it. I think getting the more detailed instructions from them is probably the way to go the other ones you could probably do it with the other ones but the one with more detail is just uh, more helpful for somebody particularly if they're new or inexperienced in building kits you know it goes into detail and tells you about the orientation of the audio amp to make sure you insert it correctly and it tells you about the polarity of the capacitors and and things like that that um, that you might not be aware of if you're not used to building uh, kits they do have the surface mount um, IC already installed on the board so you don't have to worry about that although the one that I received it's it's on there and it's on the pads there's no problem it's making good connection but it, the chip is actually a little bit skewed it's not it's not really centered on there but but everything's making contact, so there's no worries, no worries there. Um, the battery holder, the batteries fit in here really tight, so um, it does take a little bit of effort to get them in here, but um, they do go in. Um, all in all, it's a, a pretty nice kit. It was a fun kit build. Not really any major problems putting it together. It went together rather nicely. Um, I think it would be perfect. Um, for uh, an adult and a kid to put together on a Saturday afternoon, um, you know, uh, maybe a I don't know, eight, ten-year-old might uh, might enjoy this um, with some supervision. Um, I think it's a nice kit. It's it's a attractive radio. It's got a nice silk screen on the board that tells you uh, where all the parts are. I really like the fact that it uh, has the resistors, like say R6, but underneath the resistor where the silk screen is it'll have the value on there and uh, when they were in their tray they, they were pretty much right in in line like R1 R2 they were in line you just check them to make sure I think for my kit five R5 and R6 were reversed that could have been just a they put them in the wrong slots but it doesn't even say that they're supposed to be in order but that's just the way it seemed to be and the capacitors were really easy because all the um, blue ones were the same value and all the little ceramic um, uh, disc capacitors they were the same value you know 27 picofarads for those and so you know they're all the same value so uh, is low chance of mixing anything up all these electrolytics were 100 microfarads with the exception of one 470 microfarad so that's uh, that lessens the chance of getting something uh, mixed up so um, I did I did power it up and try it on AM and I am in the basement and I've got a big fluorescent light right above me and it was just a bunch of noise so I will I will make another uh, maybe a, a separate video or I'll amend it to this one of the um, AM uh, 
band scan, but I did pick up some stations on the FM band with the with this little uh, piece of wire that they provide that goes on here. So I'll turn the radio on and we'll see uh, if we can pick up some FMs anyway. And like I say, I'll, uh, I'll add the AM scan to the video or, or make a separate one. It's when you give a gift. Right now, we're offering something unique for you. It's designed to help you in your walk with the Lord. It will equip you to serve the Lord with excellence. Three thousand dollar trade, one ninety nine a month. Or here's a Hummer H three four wheel drive. That's ten nine, one eighty four down, one eighty four a month. Here's a Mazda for forty nine hundred dollars. Guess what? When you got twelve hundred used cars on the ground, if you're gonna go hunting for <laughs> right now, a big voice guy on one of those mainstream stations would bark out, It's another long set of strong songs, starting now! Of everything we've been through. Triples. Mm -hmm. We can choose to ignore that while no one wants to talk. <laughs> And Rutgers here in Piscataway, New Jersey. It is now time for our best inside look, brought to you by Chupin and Sons Incorporated. We know metals and plastics inside and times now. And the last two without any help. There was a scar on his nose. His lip and chin were busted. His spine, we found out later, had a hairline fracture. So you policy from State Farm gets you collision coverage. And this radio ad from State Farm gets you coverage of this beloved 90s hit. I hear the call. I hear the call. I hear the call. visit statefarm.com shopping for a new appliance tv or mattress set which matters most to you the lowest so there we go that was the um the fm band i would say uh if you're looking for a little kit to build um yourself or um with uh, a younger person, this would be an ideal thing to do on a on a Saturday afternoon or something. Um, yeah, like I say, uh, I would probably had to have normally have bought something like this, so it was kind of nice that uh, uh, the the seller on Amazon uh, uh, decided uh, to give me one here to try out, and uh, I would recommend it. I think it's nice. It's about uh, seventeen or eighteen dollars, so it's not too expensive. It's uh, very well put together. Um, goes together nicely. The instructions are good. Lots of photos, which is very helpful when you're putting something together. So I would uh, highly um, recommend this. Uh